And then the Prophet ﷺ says that the bowing essentially represents that that you discard all your other loves, relationships and bonds. And the natural consequence you can say of that is, is or, or, as you're standing ready to enjoy every hardship in the way of God and you're standing with utmost respect and humility then that humility goes to another stage where you yeah. naturally bow in front of God. Yeah. And the bowing is not a physical bowing, but rather it's a spiritual bowing, it's the bowing of the soul. But you, because your soul, because you're feeling the prayer, then you manifest that in your actions as well. It can't be that you, in your head you think that now I want to become even closer to God and I want to submit myself in even further humility but rather you do it you manifest that in your action as well and then you bow and then the Prophet Muhammad explains so beautifully he says that then the next you go even deeper in your you can say you immerse yourself in that prayer your soul is so engaged in prayer that you want to then fall at the threshold of the Almighty mm. and you feel that you, and the, the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, so said that the, your closest man is closest to God in the state of the such the, 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 the prostration when you are, and that actually is when when you look at it as well from just say from a, from an outsider's point of view. I mean, that's the most humble position you could be in, all fours, bowing your head down, because you look around you, you look at life around you as well, and you see that a lot of the times, a lot of the, the sins that are being committed, a lot of the problems that we have in society simply stem from just arrogance, simply stem from the lack of humility, not understanding our purpose in life and what we're doing here. And that, the fact that you're doing that five times in the day is a constant reminder as well. So I think that, in that respect, Islam is so unique. And you know, you, you mentioned like, you don't see that in other faiths. Maybe you'll see them standing in prayer or yeah. they have one element of that prayer. But I think Islam is so beautiful that incorporates every aspect of that. So within your one single prayer, you incorporate all of that. But it's only if you understand it, because you understand those postures and then you realize that these postures are not just physical actions, yeah. but they actually have a lot of meaning, that you stand in prayer.